Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Deer Hunter. I'm not in my room, I'm in a hotel room right now with Lex. That was the slowest reaction you could have physically given. tell me who I was gonna do this. I'm in a hotel room with Lex. That was amazing. Better reaction time. But she's not a part of this video. What I want to do is answer five of your guys' hashtag Dear Hunter questions that you tweeted me at Hunter March, and I'm going to be answering them. I made the mistake of just asking for any sort of question, and I got some really weird ones, so I'm going to knock a couple of those out of the way before I get to the life relationship questions that I would normally answer on Dear Hunter. At HaleyM97 asks, can you do a P.O. Box slash mail video soon? Gotta have more than one piece of mail. And that mail can't be from my mom, so send me stuff. I'll put the P.O. box down below. At Frantamagic wants to know, human-sized grape or grape-sized human? It depends on if we're talking about me becoming this thing. If so, I'd rather be a human than a grape, but when it comes to eating things, I wouldn't want to eat a human no matter how big he is. So i choose a grape that's the size of a human. Plus, I love grapes. They're delicious. Okay, that's enough. Random questions, it's time to get to some hashtag Deer Hunter questions. Sarah Rodwe asks, hashtag Deer Hunter, how do you get over the haters? As a person who lives their life on the internet, I think I have a good amount of haters, but I really don't let them bother me because I have so many other people who support me and really want me to succeed that it doesn't matter. And every one of you guys has this support system, whether it be 50,000 people on Twitter or one family member that really keeps you grounded and makes you smile and makes you realize that that's what's important and not the other things. A lot of times we start thinking that these other people's negative opinions of us are true and that we are not worth it. But that is so false and incredibly untrue. A lot of times we let other people's negative opinions start becoming our own opinions and we start thinking less of ourselves just because some random nobody thinks that we're dumb or ugly or whatever it is but you know what that person doesn't know who you really are you do and you know that you're amazing and incredible and everyone around you will probably agree that's a long answer I'm sorry Leah Russell says I just moved and all of my friends and my crush have the same homeroom teacher I feel really left out not a question, but I will answer it by saying that now not only do you have friends in your original homeroom classroom, but you also have potential new friends in this new homeroom, and you could have twice as many friends, twice as many crushes, all because you took a chance. Or someone forced you to move homerooms, whatever the case was. Lindsay Peak asks, hashtag Dear Hunter, how do you get over someone who cheated and lied to you? That is not easy and should not be a decision that's made quickly. A lot of times those things take months or even years to work themselves out because you have to build something from the ground up, a trust with somebody, which could take years to build the first time. Now, you not only have to do it again, but you have to overlook everything that they've done or remember it and make sure it doesn't happen again or remember it and not date them or ever see them again because they're cheaters and liars. I'm not a big fan of cheaters and liars. At this point in my life, I don't think I could get back with someone who cheated and lied and I wouldn't expect anyone to do the same with me. At Kalisha Sabrina says, De hashtag Deer Hunter, do you have a cute butt? Okay, that one slipped in. That's not a real question, but yes. At Emma M. Glad asks, at Hunter March, I've got a crush on a guy and we have the same friends. I'm too scared to talk to him what should I do? The good news is you guys have the same friends, which is a perfect starting point for any conversation. I mean, you guys have infinite things to talk about. Anything that a friend has done that you both know about is a good place to find more things you have in common. So you start by saying, remember when Johnny spilled his chili in the lunchroom? And then he goes, yeah, that's crazy. You like chili? And then you like, yeah, I love chili. And then you guys go get chili together. Use your mutual friends to find mutual interests and then use that to find a connection and eventually go on a date and marry him and have kids. Sammy Cammy asks, what do you do when you're lonely? When I'm lonely, I like to work. It's just who I am. Personally, I like to distract myself by doing something productive, i.e. making videos or working on stuff for awesomeness or my podcast or whatever it is. But I know that that's not for everyone. So I would suggest just distracting yourself with a Netflix account or a Hulu account or something like that. And then if you can find time to work and be productive, it's the best way to get over being lonely. Okay, that is all the time we have for Hashtag Your Hunter questions. Thank you so much to Lex for doing... You're welcome! For doing nothing, really. She just kind of worked the whole time. And thank you guys so much for sending in your Hashtag Your Hunter questions. Send them to me at Hunter March. You can follow me there. My P.O. Box will be down below. And subscribe to Awesome to see me for more Hashtag Your Hunter. I will see you guys later. Bye!